Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's devotion for July 14th. I can hardly believe we're like in the middle of the month of July already. Like the year has absolutely flown by. Today's devotion is titled Deep Waters, and the Bible reading is from Proverbs chapter 20, verses 4 to 5 and 24 to 25. There's a couple of squirrels playing behind me. You can probably hear them. They're playing on the tree next to the house. <laughs> All right. Those too lazy to plow in the right season will have no food at the harvest. Though good advice lies deep within the heart, a person with understanding will draw it out. Um... The Lord directs our steps, so why try to understand everything along the way? Don't trap yourself by making a rash promise to God, only later counting the cost. When Bill Pinckney sailed solo around the world in 1992, taking the hard route around the perilous Great Southern Capes, he did it for a higher purpose. His voyage was to inspire and educate children. That included students at his former inner city Chicago elementary school. His goal? To show how far they could go by studying hard and making a commitment. The word he chose in naming his boat. When Bill takes school kids on the water in commitment, he says, they've got that tiller in their hand and they learn about control, self-control. They learn about teamwork, all the basics that one needs in life to be successful. Pinckney's words paint a portrait of Solomon's wisdom. I lost my spot, sorry. <laughs> the purposes of a person's heart are deep waters, but one who has insight draws them out. He invited others to examine their life goals. Otherwise, it is a trap, said Solomon, to dedicate something rashly and only later to consider one's vows. In contrast, William Pinckney had a clear purpose that eventually inspired 30,000 30, students across the United States to learn from his journey. He became the first African-American inducted into the National Sailing Hall of Fame. Kids were watching, he said. With similar purpose, let's set our course by the deep counsel of God's instructions to us. In your life, what is the why for your work or ministry? What legacy do you hope to leave by what you accomplish? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.